lovely souls and welcome or welcome back to the Herfeld Tarot. For those that are new to uh, the channel, I just want to thank you guys uh, for being here. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support. And to my um, new subscribers, welcome to the family guys. It's a pleasure to have you here and thank you for choosing to support this channel. But yeah, we have this captivating journey into the realm of emotions and connections with uh, the how are they feeling about you right now pick a card timeless love reading in this profound and insightful reading we are going to delve deep into the energies that are surrounding your current potential love interest to uncover the true feelings and intentions towards you at this very moment so uh we have for pile number one here the ace of uh, diamonds <laughs> For pile number two, we have here the Ace of uh, Spades. And for the pile number three, we have here this card with the Ace of Hearts. This is from Playing Cards Collection, the Pinocchio one. Uh, take a moment, see which uh, picture or uh, which card draws to you the most. And I will see you in a second. Dear lovely souls and welcome or welcome back to the Harfel Tarot. So guys, if you've been drawn to this Ace of uh, Diamonds here in the traditional um, card reading, I hope you can see it. Um, the Ace of Diamonds symbolizes new beginnings, a fresh start or a message related to practical matters or financial situations here for some of you. So I'm getting that... Uh, with this card that your person of interest might be thinking about a new fresh uh, or a new start or a fresh start with you here uh, approach uh, regarding your relationship it can uh, indicate that their feelings are um, influenced by a desire for clarity transparency uh, perhaps wanting to establish sorry a new foundation in the relationship that has a t uh, tangible or practical aspect to it this person might be considering how the relationship can grow or value uh, it brings into their life here uh, we have here um, this image showing different characters from the story of pinocchio and this kind of as this depth uh, to this uh, person here um, usually each character in Pinocchio story has this specific role and lessons so um, this uh, implies to me that your person of interest is maybe contemplating the roles uh, you both play in each other's lives here and the lessons uh, to be learned from your interactions with one another is what I'm getting here uh, maybe this person uh, they're kind of indulging in this uh, connection with you here from what I'm seeing in this card. For others of you, maybe uh, with this image, maybe they're preparing to invite you out on a date here, uh, grab dinner at some sort of resta uh, restaurant. Um, for others of you, I'm getting that um, the feelings might not be overtly emotional or passionate at this moment, but rather measured and considered as they are calculating their uh, next best step here. Uh, with these little facts here, I'm sensing this kind of strategy here. With a cat in this image, I'm getting that this person could be a bit um, mysterious. Maybe they're not letting uh, all their feelings to come to the surface and let you know how they feel. Or maybe they feel this way uh, about you here, my pile number one. For others of you, I don't know why I'm getting, maybe they're working as a waitress or maybe you guys are working in a restaurant something scenario, I don't know. But uh, there is this sense of wanting to build or invest in the connection with a uh, practical and perhaps maybe a bit of cautious approach here. It's what I'm getting. Uh, let's uh, see here, let's jump to the um, tarot and see. I'm going to use the Lover's Oracle here to check their current feelings uh, towards you. This uh, will represent your love interest most immediate feelings towards you here, pile one. And let's see. So for pile number one and the person on their mind, what are their current, uh, current feelings for pile number one? 
in the curtain fittings for pile number one. Oh, too many. Okay, oops. Oh, you got two cards here, okay. Let's see what you get. Okay, so you have here, ah, sorry, I showed you the card. Uh, this image here first and says like this close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joy uh, joyful sorry you can allow uh, joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in um, this tells me that your love uh, interest sees you as a source of joy and happiness here uh, it reflects their desire for you to embrace the joy that comes uh, with your connection here I feel like there is an acknowledgement uh, here that despite any challenges, uh, there is this profound joy that your uh, presence brings into this person's life here. And uh, I feel like it's something they believe uh, you both deserve to fully experience here. Such a beautiful message here. And let's see transformation here your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things uh, <laughs> as i said uh, the messages i was getting here so this person is planning something here um it's being a bit strategic here and um they just uh, want to deepen this connection with you here. They want a new beginning. Um, if there were some such challenges here between you and this person, if this person was not ready for this connection, with this card, I feel like the connection between you and this person is just going to transform um, radically here. Um, but I'm getting that uh, this just reinforces this positive uh, trajectory indicating that your love interest feels that um, the relationship is reaching maybe a new level of depth and connection here. Um, this just speaks to their feelings of growing closeness and uh, in their belief uh, in the power of love between you and uh, this person uh, that can overcome maybe any obstacles here. Uh, it just signals this uh, readiness for change and evolution within the relationship here. Tells me that uh, this person is open and excited about where this journey of transformation might even lead. So yeah, uh, these cards together here, I feel like... Um, um, just conveys this sense of optimism, uh, growth... Um, powerful and emotional connection between you and this person. So I'm getting that your love interest seems to be feeling hopeful about the future and the deepening of your relationship with this strong belief in the transformative power of love uh, in order to bring joy and to overcome challenges here is what I'm getting. Let me get my um, other uh, deck for you here. Actually, I have more legs here for this reading. Uh, this is going to be, I'm going to use this for the heart of the uh, matter here. Uh, we'll uncover the underlying emotions or issues that are influencing your love interest feelings at the moment. So, what's the heart of the mat matter here? Matter, matter. <laughs> For pile one and the person on their mind, what's the heart of the matter for them? This one wanted to come out. Okay. <laughs> Definitely my pile number uh, one here. Um, this person or both of you or the relationship you're having with this person is just going through challenging times at the moment. But as I said, we have the transformation card here in their feelings towards you and the current feelings. And I've, this person is uh, optimistic that you guys can just uh, move past these uh, obstacles here. Um, 
also you have fine balance at the bottom of the deck so this is like that wheel of fortune they want to change the dynamic between you and them they just want to uh what's name um maybe they feel like this connection is like uh, destined to happen between you and them um they have this sense of destiny here with this wheel of fortune maybe they just want to bring balance or maybe they need to find the balance in themselves at the moment uh, maybe that's why they're going through these challenging times they need to uh, to just balance their inner selves here uh, maybe they need to balance uh, their mind if they're like going through these uh, mental challenges maybe if it's not about you and them I'm also getting here that oops maybe with this card uh, with challenging time and fine balance here maybe the universe is like testing you here guys um, that's why you're going through these challenging times I see this person is trying to protect their heart with the shield here. Maybe this person been hurt in the past and are ready for a relationship at the moment. Even though they have these feelings towards you here. Or maybe um, I feel like your love interest is going through a period of difficulty or uncertainty that um, affects how they feel about the relationship at the moment. They might be facing these internal conflicts or external pressures that aren't maybe uh, immediately apparent uh, to you here. I feel like it's a period of testing that may involve making these hard decisions or navigating through um, these complex emotions uh, here that they have for you. I feel like their feelings for you are likely genuine but um, might be clouded by the challenges that this person is facing at the moment. But I'm seeing this person is being so geared up, like they're ready to protect their heart here. I don't know, I'm getting that maybe this person is like scared of opening up. Um, that's why they're going through these challenging times or the connection with you uh, is going through these challenging time, maybe, uh, times. Maybe they're like... <sighs> Maybe this person been tricked in the past when it comes to relationships uh, with these facts here. And maybe that's why um, they're feeling so sad here. Like, look at Pinocchio. He's not feeling <laughs> happy at all in this picture here. He's like, oh, these foxes, they, they trick me. <laughs> uh, the fox and the cat here into paying them their din the dinner only and I am not getting anything out of it so maybe this person was like giving uh, their time uh, energy in relationships and they always um, getting their heart broken and maybe that's why they're being so protective at the moment I don't know you guys know better uh, your uh, story here with this person and what they're going through um, with this uh, find the uh, balance here, just following the challenging times, I feel like just, um, I feel like this card um, tells me that this person needs to find some sort of balance in their life or maybe both of you here. I feel like your love interest might be striving for harmony between their heart and mind at the moment as well. Um, they're trying maybe to find a middle ground between personal and challenges and their relationship here. Um, they might be seeking uh, to have this equilibrium in their life here could uh, include balancing their feelings for you with other responsibilities maybe or aspects of their personal journey at the moment as well but uh, this card here as I said um, speaks of that uh, will of fortune energy they, they want to change uh, the situation between you and them they want to transform it for sure also, I'm getting that um, maybe 
this um, person at the moment is going through uh, the moment of uh, introspection possible there is some tension here uh, between you and this person at the moment and they are aware that uh, in order to move forward in this healthy and positive way with you they must uh, maybe find uh, and address their current challenges and find a sense of balance in their life uh, while the, their feelings are there i feel like uh, um, they could be preoccupied with resolving these issues before they can fully express or act upon their emotions for you here, my pile number one. Okay, let's uh, grab my other deck here for you guys and let's check... Um these uh, energetic influences here um, will uh, see uh, the current energy that's surrounding your love interest here this speaks to um, external factors or internal energies here that are just shaping their feelings and perspectives towards you here pile one so what's the energetic influences here for my pile number one? Oh, whoops i took a card from the other deck by mistake okay so pile one what's the energetic influences here for your person what influences this person here at the moment i'm feeling drawn to this card no this one okay Number 41, Seventh Chakra, Archangel, Archangel Uriel here. Hmm. Definitely, this person, oh, you also have at the bottom, wow, at the bottom of the deck all tied up and underneath it a broken heart so as i was uh, getting this um, intuitive messages here um earlier with the challenging times here definitely they're trying to protect their heart at the moment and maybe because of it uh, because they've been hurt in the past that's the narrative i'm getting here uh, someone has definitely been hurt in the past. I'm getting that um, they all feel, they feel all tied up, like unable to uh, communicate with you here. Honest, uh, their feelings honest uh, towards you here. With uh, all tied up, could be that uh, they're not able at the moment. They feel stuck in in mental. Maybe they're mentally stuck here. Uh, could be that uh, I don't know there is, there is the work that they're focusing on or something else that just stopping this person at the moment to come towards you is what I'm getting I'm also getting here though uh, that maybe this person that you're asking about or for someone out there um they might have just went through this breakup uh with someone maybe they've been in another relationship and this i feel like it's still affecting them um uh, that's why they feel all tied up here to the unable to come towards you at the moment even though with this uh, seven chakra here i'm getting that um uh mm, spiritual connection here between you and this person that they're feeling it um especially with the destiny card with the wheel of fortune here so this person definitely feels something that's a deeper connection here between you and them but because they're so heartbroken i feel like they cannot uh, take action at the moment towards you here um also this card is associated with that enlightenment the it's the crown chakra uh speaks of that higher wisdom and with the presence here of the hangel uriel uh known as the angel of wisdom if i'm not wrong 
tells me that your love interest may be is experiencing at the moment a heightened sense of awareness. Uh, maybe they're uh, um, seeking a deeper spiritual connection here. Um, or maybe they're trying to understand um, the connection between you and them better. The energy uh, I feel around this person might be that uh, is urging them to look beyond the physical world and to connect with you on this soul level as well here with this card. Uh, I'm getting that uh, this person might be feeling a pull towards you more spiritually, feel fulfilling rel um, this uh, uh, between the connection between you and them and uh, I feel like they're maybe seeking from guidance from the universe uh, some guidance sorry from the universe regarding the connection with you right now maybe if you guys are in separation from this person that you're asking about maybe they feel all heartbroken and they're still tied up to the connection with you there you guys been having here for others of you but uh, with this card here, I'm getting that uh, they might be feeling trapped or this restricted at the moment. Uh, this might mean that your love interest uh, feels bound by certain, certain circumstances or these emotional patterns that, that are hard to break free from at the moment. They might be dealing with these internal or external restrictions that are preventing them from fully expressing their feelings or moving the relationship forward as they might like here um there is a possibility of frustration here um maybe you know, coming from this feeling of feeling constrained either by their own thoughts uh, here or emotions or as i said by these situational factors is what i'm getting uh, you might, um, this person that you're dealing with or you're asking about might be age of 23 or maybe you are or maybe they're 41 or uh, 46 here for some of you or 28, those I have to be. But uh, when looking at these energetic influences here, uh, I feel like it um, speaks of this situation where this uh, love interest of yours here, Pile 1, it's possibly cut between a desire for spiritual connection maybe and higher understanding with you and feeling hindered by some sort of form of limitation maybe. It could be that um, they're looking for a sign or insight that will help them transcend these limitations or to find maybe wisdom to deal with them more uh, effectively here. I don't know, I feel like this duality here of seeking freedom and expansion on a higher level while feeling constrained on a more practical or emotional one here. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm going to be using the Monology Oracle uh, deck for you here. And uh, let's see the Moon's Guidance here. How this uh, will show us... Um, or will make us understand how the lunar energies are affecting your love situation here. So for pile number one, okay, you have here full moon in Sagittarius. Uh, look at the bigger picture and hold your vision, fixed moon here. Um, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius here, doesn't have to be. And you also have here your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn here for you guys. Also, you might be dealing with a Capricorn or maybe you guys are having one of these uh, zodiacal signs in your uh, zodiacal or um, chart. Um, okay. Uh, with this card here, look at the bigger picture here with uh, full moon in Sagittarius. This speaks of that energy that of expansion, aiming high. So I'm getting that um, your love interests here uh, are being encouraged to consider the broader potential of uh, the relationship with you here. Um, they're trying, as I said earlier, it's that confirmation message. This person 
uh, is thinking some sort of wisdom here and they are recognizing the strength and the, the deeper level of uh, this connection here they realize that there there is something here between you and uh, them that's just tying you together here uh with this card though it also could be that uh, uh with this sagittarius energy just uh, speaks of growth here uh, adventure fight again finding that deeper meaning here so this uh, person might be feeling optimistic about the future with you here and they're ready to explore these new possibilities as well um and they're holding their vision like you're in their uh you're in their mind here like you're their focus here <laughs> is what i'm getting all they think about maybe that's why they feel stuck here they're all tied up and broken if you guys broken up they're still uh having hope that they can transform uh, the situation with you that they can overcome the challenges that are between you and them here um, again, we have the mountains that speak of uh, those challenges that uh, they need to surpass here. Um, with this fixed moon energy, speaks of this stable, determinated energy here, and uh, speaks of this impo importance of holding into one's goals and visions here. So I feel like your love interest might be feeling a strong sense of purpose here, commitment to what. Uh, uh, this uh, connection can bring to them or what both of you can create together here tells me that um, they are remaining focused on the relationship potential here between you and them and they're like uh, likely holding steady to their feelings and intentions here regarding you my pile number one and uh, with uh, your hard work is paying off here I feel like this person needs as I said, determinated. Um, they are uh, setting this uh, with the new moon in Capricorn. I feel like they're setting practical goals, and um, I feel like they're they're trying to realize. They're starting to realize that um, if they work hard enough on then put uh, enough energy into this connection and effort that. Uh, the hard work is going to pay off here for both of you. I feel like um, that dedication and the hard work in the relationship, uh, I feel like for some of you, is starting to show results here between you and them. Um, I feel like it's a, a period where the seeds planted are beginning to sprout here. Uh, at the moment, it's that uh, recognition of the efforts um, that are being made here and are uh, leading now to this tangible progress between you and this person here. This speaks of that potential opportunity um, reward. I feel like um, this person is looking ahead and envisioning a larger future together with you here then they're staying committed to that vision is what i'm getting and i feel like they're recognizing that uh, without uh, any effort uh, the relationship is not going to grow it's not going to transform so your love interest is likely feeling hopeful about the relationship direction and they're be being motivated to continue working towards this uh, stable future with you here um especially especially sorry if you guys been going through challenging times if you guys uh, took a break broken up here with this person or mm, just took a break from the relationship and connection altogether here but um yeah let's see here uh, their desires and intentions towards my pile number one um we'll see uh, your love to, um, interest desires from the relationship with you and their intentions moving forward here it can reveal hopes dreams or plans related to you so desires and intentions here the silver waterfall and inner <laughs> inner peace 
Yeah, I'm laughing because we spoke that this person needs to find their balance here. And I feel like, uh, and we had the joy message here. You're bringing this person a lot of joy and inner peace is what I'm getting there, feeling contempt. Um, at ease when uh, they are with you and I feel like uh, when they're separated here they feel that broken heart they are feeling broken inside here and maybe they're out of balance uh, at the moment uh, with the silver water for a waterfall here I feel like um, this person emotions are just running deep here for you uh, is what I'm getting uh, so with this car here, with the number 32, they might be age of 32 for some of you, or maybe you guys are, but uh, this is just bursting, this card, with the symbolism of purity, clarity, emotional renewal. Um, I feel like this is what this person wants here. That's their desire towards you. They want to have some sort of clarity. Maybe uh, they're not unsure that for some of you that you guys are feeling the same way for this person. For others of you, they just want a uh, renewal. They just want to transform the relationship. They just want to come back here. If uh, was this fall off uh, or fall out uh, between you and this person here. Um, the waterfalls uh, often represent the release of old energies and embrace of uh, fresh starts here. <laughs> we started with that message of fresh starts. And um, I'm getting that um, this love interest of yours, Pile One, desire could be for a relationship that is constantly renewing itself, maybe uh, staying fresh and maybe emotionally clear. Maybe this person hates the uncertainty that is happening between you and them. Uh, there is an intention here for transparency and for emotions to just flow freely between both of you here uh, without these past resentments or issues that are clouding the present, maybe. They just want to uh, be transparent with you and their feelings towards you here. And they want you to do the same. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> also here with the 17. Uh, you are enough. I feel like this person and it says, I am enough journal. Maybe they are lacking a bit of confidence here with this card. Uh, maybe they're not feeling worthy of you, of this connection, of this relationship. Um, maybe they just put you on this pedestal here and they see um, all your beauty here, all your amazing energy here that you're radiating. And maybe this scared this person a bit. <laughs> Um, as I said, this is a theme of this inner peace uh, that just points towards the logi for this harmonious and tranquil connection here. Maybe their past relationships, they never felt this before, inner peace. Uh, maybe uh, in the past, um, they've been with toxic people that treat them badly and they've always been struggling and fighting for nothing and they, as I said, they always end up with uh, their heart broken but uh, I feel like your love interest um, may wish for a relationship that contributes positively to their well-being in a sense of inner calm they might be hoping that uh, the relationship uh, can be a safe space for both of you here to grow individually and together without uh, undue stress or drama here. Maybe this is someone that loves from time to time to be a lone wolf, uh, to just sit in their own corner and focus on writing, focus on uh, their hobbies. That's what brings them inner peace here. And maybe they want to have this... Uh, um, from time to time their time alone without feeling um, any pressure from your side is what I'm getting uh, without you feeling that they're doing something wrong if they don't answer in the next five seconds after you send them a message or if they uh, uh, don't reply to your messages instantly 
Um, I feel like their intentions moving forward is likely to maintain a nurture a sense of peace within the relationship with you here, pile one. Tells me that uh, this person values this emotional stability and serenity here. So yeah, um, I feel like uh, with these cards here, your love, interest, hopes, and in her and intentions revolve around emotional clarity, healing, tranquility. Here, uh, they aspire for a connection that feels pure and refreshing, where communication flows and peace is prioritized, allowing both of you to flourish. Here, uh, for some of you, they just want a fresh start, a clean start, a renewal. They just want to heal this connection because, as you saw, their heart is broken here, and. That's why maybe they just closed off um, and not communicating, not revealing their feelings. Um, but yeah, let's see now um, what deck I'm going to use, I'm thinking. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Let's see for there. I'm gonna go back to the first deck here for you and check out the obstacles to overcome here. This will shed light uh, on any challenges or obstacles that might affect uh, how your love interest feels about your impact in the relationship here. Uh, rebuild this person is like shattered in pieces is what i'm getting like they've been shaken to their core here or maybe this is your energy pile one i don't know maybe i'm picking up on your energy as well but someone here just need to rebuild themselves as a person here they've been going through a lot here is what i'm getting and you also have here seek the truth. Uh, there is something that is going to be revealed to you here uh, by this person. Maybe they'll come clean and tell you why they've been acting a certain way, why they've been closing off. Maybe they'll come clean with their emotions. Uh, I see some truth coming here. Or maybe, as I said, they're seeking uh, from the universe answers at the moment regarding the connection with you. Or regarding the challenges that that uh, this person is going through here but uh, when it comes to obstacles here that you guys need to overcome here uh, with this card I'm getting that there might have been a breakdown or significant challenge in the relationship here between you and this person that now maybe requires uh, for uh, from both parties here to maybe work towards rebuilding your trust in each other uh, to have more understanding of one another um and this uh, speaks of the structural integrity here of the relationship that been affected uh, tells me that uh, maybe past events have caused damage that cannot be ignored uh, for you and this person here uh your love interest might recognize that um Concert effort is needed in order to repair and strengthen the bond between you and them here. Uh, this card uh, just acknowledges the hard work and commitment that's necessary in order to recover and improve the relationship here. And that's what they wish with the transformation card they started with. And with the seek the truth here, I feel like uh, the challenge here uh, it lies in seeking honesty and clarity. I feel like there might have been some misunderstandings between you and this person here or uh, maybe some unclear intentions that need to be addressed here. Uh, it sp speaks of that uh, barrier to progress uh, is needed uh, for both of you to be transparent and truthful to each other here. Um, just encourage you guys uh, to communicate openly and uh, to delve deep into your own truths to understand each other better here. 
could be that uh, your love interest here, pile one, is searching for the root of issue or trying to understand the relationship maybe more profound in order to move forward here. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, you both are taking a break from each other here. You're just going through uh, this rest and um, reconsideration here. And sorry, I had some soba noodles on my hand. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm getting that uh, in order to overcome these challenges here between you and this person uh, and for this relationship to transform or evolve, um, it involves both of you to rebuild what has been damaged and to seek these deeper truths for uh, clarity and honesty here. I feel like the process here is essential for you guys uh, in order um, for the feelings from this person I feel like to em fully emerge and for this relationship to advance uh, in a healthy constructive manner between you and them. Um, I'm getting that uh, there is a need for this sincere uh, effort between you guys and all this open communication and willingness maybe to uh, face and resolve these underlying issues that uh, are just um, putting this connection through these challenges at the moment. And uh, last card here for you, Pile 1. Let's see this um, future direction here uh, will give us a glimpse into the potential future of your connection here based on this person's uh, current feelings and energies. So what's the future direction here for this connection for Pile number 1? Okay, <laughs> uh, you also have abundance at the bottom of the deck. Number one, new beginnings. Uh, I feel like this connection is going through this transformation. Uh, that's the outcome for you here. Maybe for some of you with this uh, sexual freedom, could be that um, there is this undeniable attraction between you and this person and uh, maybe you or this person maybe felt in the past uh, um, um, limited, uh, was shy, was not open uh, to their fantasies. There was this uh, hype between you and them uh, here. Or maybe this could be that uh, someone here wished uh, or wishes to have this uh, open relationship, date other people. Um, but I see a new beginning as the outcome for you here. Also with this sexual freedom, maybe there is this uh, sort of... Oops. Uh, tension, sexual tension between you here and your the outcome here for you it's um, overcoming this um, this card points to a future where both of you um, also might sense this uh, uh, deeper sense of liberation and expression in uh, your intimacy here it tells me that uh, the potential for outcome um, you're just overcoming any inhibitions and embracing a more open and more fulfilling sexual connection here for some of you. So this um, evolution in the relationship will lead to this more profound, inhibited form of sharing, bringing you closer and uh, just deepening your bond here. And with abundance here, uh, this rep uh, represents usually wealth, resources, uh, a future rich in love here I'm seeing uh, for you, Pile 1, emotional fulfillment, uh, possible material prosperity uh, as well. Uh, it indicates that the, the relationship is going to grow uh, where both of you will benefit from it, uh, providing this sense of security and plenty. I feel like there is a, su a suggestion here that the relationship not to, uh, will not only be this emotionally rewarding, but could also lead to the growth of um, various aspects in your life as well. Um, 
the combination of these two cards here paints a uh, picture of a future relationship where both of you are emotionally and physically fulfilling here uh, it indicates to a strong foundation that is going to lead to an abundance and joy and satisfaction here for, uh, in your life so I feel like in, uh, if the current energies and feelings continue on this path, the potential for uh, the, this deeper connection uh, between you and this person and uh, prosperous connection or relationship, it's indicated here, where both of you will feel free, supported, enriched here. Um, let's grab some initials here for you. And for those that need uh, insurance that this is their person. <laughs> Uh, let's see for pile one okay we got here you have H X also they could be age of 30 or 31 for some of you P I A another I not, oh, this is a D. I was about to say another P and B here. Uh, so this was my reading, guys, for you. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you feel like it, of course, or consider liking and uh, subscribing, uh, subscribing to this channel. Sorry, <laughs> in order to just uh, help the channel grow, I will be much appreciative of you. And anyway, I just want you guys to know, my viewers, that um, I appreciate you anyway for watching this and being here. So thank you guys and I hope you will have an amazing day, night uh, and the connection between you and this person. It's going uh, the way you guys wanted for, for, for on the clock and I wish you guys to have an amazing day. Bye! The pile number two, if you guys been drawn to this uh, Ace of Spades here, uh, we have this image of Pinocchio, I think. Yeah, yeah, it is him hanging from this um, tree here. And we uh, looks like there are some sort of webs he's being cut here. I'm not sure. Um, but this tells me that um, your person might be either hang up on something right now, either that they're trying to currently view um, the situation between you and them in from a other point of view, from another perspective. They're looking at the connection with you here. It's what I'm getting. Um, also, maybe... Um, I don't know, this card just represents this complex transformative period that this person might be going through at the moment. Uh, for others of you, it could be that this person is feeling dead inside. Uh, they could be feeling that um, they, they don't see any hope uh, between you and this person. Maybe they are thinking that uh, for some of you, they lost you forever now and they feel like there is nothing they can do. Their hands are tight. They can't just take action towards you for some reason. Um, it might be that uh, they're going through this deep reflection or a major realization about the relationship between you and them here. Uh, we have Pinocchio that represents here um, I feel like your love interest that it's currently in a place of introspection, maybe uncertainty uh, with the trees and web here. I'm getting that uh, um, your love interest here might be going through this, uh, uh, what's called, um, they're caught up in a situation or they're uh, facing some sort of decision right now or they need to face some sort of decision when it comes to the relationship with you um i feel that uh, there is also this element of significant change transformation uh, in this car here could be a turning point in how they view the relationship here maybe if they felt that there is no hope between you and them i'm getting that um, they're having some sort of realization um 
maybe they're just waking up it's giving me that hangman energy here in this card they're getting awakened to this connection here um, usually the ace of space can sometimes represent challenges here that uh, this person might go through or your connection with them uh, it's going through some challenges at the moment maybe there is a need to confront uh, the more difficult aspects of a situation here but also it holds the promise of this clear understanding once these challenges are being addressed here i don't know i feel like this person at the moment is facing some sort of truth um this speaks also of a start of new and clean on uh, and this honest foundation here so your love interest my pal number two might be feeling the weight of these decisions and they need to uh, um, they realize they need to be honest and clear with you right now but let's see what the tarot cards have for you here my pile too no not this uh, deck sorry um, i'll use it later let's see here um how your person is currently feeling about you i will be using the lover's oracle deck for you here so their current feelings here uh the person on your mind might pile to here and their current feelings towards you so you have here oh my god can grab it <laughs> um beautiful image again that getting that awakening here uh connection spirituality here we have the butterflies again that speaks of that transformation here uh i feel like this person it's getting awakened to this connection here but you have only time will tell so definitely there is uh, uncertainty uh from your person here they're not sure um if uh, you want to give them a chance anymore i'm uh, getting for the majority of you here with this card um you also have here at the bottom of the deck uh look deep within your heart and you'll feel my love my love for you is deep as the ocean so i'm getting here that um while for some of you this person might have these uh, feelings for you here uh, they definitely feel connected in some sort of way with you with only time will tell this tells me that um, this message here is that while there uh, might be these strong emotions and questions regarding the relationship i feel like the full context of these feelings uh in the relationship here um put in the in the relationship potential are still unfolding for you here it tells me that your love interest might be in this contemplative state uh or phase perhaps this person could be a bit unsure about how to proceed or what the future holds maybe this person is scared of uh, um, this uncertainty of uh, they have this fear of the unknown here maybe this is a new connection uh, that you're asking about for some of you um I feel like they might be waiting to see how certain situation develop before making a definitive emotional commitment or decision here. Um, this card, I feel like also it's a reminder that uh, the power of patience and um, you, you have to be patient and just let the things to uh, progress naturally or maybe this is what they wish for. There isn't this implication that both of you are on this journey where the answers and outcomes are not immediately clear and time is required in order to reveal the true depth and potential of your connection. Uh, I, like at the bottom of the deck, as I said, um, we have here love that this person feels um, there is love here, but there is also this uncertainty here. 
there are there is some need for clarity is what i'm getting when it comes to your connection here um let's see let's see here what what challenges here this connection let's see the heart of the matter here for you pile two we'll see the underlying uh, and uncover the emotions or issues that are influencing your love interest here and feelings towards you my pile two what's the heart of the matter here for pile two regarding this connection wow a decision related to love what's going on here mm. i'm so confused um interesting yeah this person with the love here they they love you by number two like uh, this uh, speaks of that uh, strong connection and the presence of that uh, genuine affection here. So we have here this image of these two individuals here that are uh, engaged in this mutual exchange. Uh, speaks of this balanced relationship where both partners are willing to give and receive here. So at the start of uh, your love's interest feelings here, at the mat, at the heart, at the start, at the heart. <laughs> Um, of your love uh, interest feeling seems to be this desire uh, for a true partnership one where this emotional and perhaps the spiritual bonds are forming and being uh, strengthened um, this is a card of harmony affection tells me that the core feelings involve caring and this uh, significant emotional investment here in this connection I don't know, maybe they have some fears here related to this connection. For others of you, it could be that uncertainty that um, they're not sure. Maybe there are there is another person involved here. Or maybe they're not sure they want to involve with you. Um, they're not sure. They, as I said, they have that fear of uncertainty maybe. Um you have at the bottom of the deck here the number three the nurture card um i feel like with this there is this uh, emphasis on growth care and the tender fostering of love here so this tells me that this person here has the um, deep caring feelings and they're willing to invest the time and therefore required to help the relationship grow here um it uh, indicates that um nurturing the bond between you two is important to this person and they uh, might be focusing on creating this supportive and loving environment for the relationship to forest uh, flourish here there might be a desire to protect and cultivate the connection um, and they want to have this uh, healthy strong bond here with this card also maybe they're the ones that need to focus on themselves at the moment to nurture themselves maybe or maybe you are going through this um, healing energy as well with the nurture you need to nurture yourself more as well maybe also uh, I feel like um, this person is just trying to master their feelings here, their emotion uh, that they're feeling towards you. They're trying to just uh, uh, keep them hidden, not to, um, not to fall in love uh, too soon here i'm getting they're afraid here that if they just let this connection um to go what's called um to just dive into it and just feel it i feel like um they're scared they will lose themselves maybe definitely this person is needing to release something 
uh, maybe they've been hurt in the past maybe something happened here between you and them and that needs to be released before they can come back and approach you here let's see um, now the um, what's called uh, current energies here Sorry, I said the um, energetic, uh, the current energy. I wanted to say the energetic influences here. Um, let, this will speak to the external factors or internal energies that are shaping their feelings and perspectives towards you here, my pile number two. Contract. Um, anxiety. <laughs> What's this? Is this person, as I said, for some of you, I'm getting that maybe this person here, they might have some fears here. Um, something is creating some sort of anxiety to this person here. When they're thinking about you, there are some influences that it's making this person feel anxious when it comes to you. Uh, maybe there is another relationship here between you and this person maybe they could be married with a contract here this could also mean that they wish to have this long-term connection with you they want to have this balanced relationship uh, you might be even dealing with a karmic here with this contract to be honest or maybe the um, uh, this person you're asking about or someone here is dealing with someone that's karmic. Uh, there are some lessons that need to be learned here, I'm getting. Maybe with the contract card as well, maybe uh, for some of you, you're definitely having some sort of contract with this person here. Again, we have 6-6. Six, six, uh, there are some synchronities here that are happening for you. This is... A significant relationship here um, maybe I'm getting that I don't know you're you're about I don't know, this is specific message for someone there maybe you guys are just um, about to get engaged with this person uh, planning a wedding and maybe this contract is um, needs to be signed like this prenuptial maybe and this is causing this person anxiety uh this energy here around your love interest i feel like uh, it's one of commitment but also obligation perhaps a decision point in the relationship that requires this careful consideration here maybe from your part maybe from their part uh, there might be contemplating the terms and conditions of your relationship. Maybe you guys have some terms here and conditions. Um, maybe they are contemplating on what it means to be together. The rest, the, they are thinking of the responsibilities that comes with uh, your um, connection here with this relationship. Um, it could be also a point to a sense of formality or seriousness in their approach to the relationship at the moment as well. You might be dealing with a Libra I'm getting here or a Gemini uh, with the Ace of Spades. We have lots of air on this reading here. Uh, could be also um, Aquarius for some of you. Uh, they could be age of 24 or 41 I see for some of you. But, um, yeah, we have this anxiety card here. This indicates a high level of worry or stress that could be influencing this uh, person feelings towards you here, pile two. Uh, the energy of anxiety might stem from concerns about the future, and the unknown. Uh, I was getting that this person is definitely is having some sort of fears, maybe, uh, at the beginning of uh, the reading here. Uh, maybe this, as I said, may stem from these concerns about the future, the pressure of making the right decisions, or fear of the unknown. Uh, it's possible they're experiencing this kind of internal turmoil or some sort of unease that is impacting their ability to fully relax into the relationship with you, fully letting um, themselves uh, 
or allow themselves actually to love you uh, and uh, let them feel this connection. Uh, I feel that with this card here, uh, with anxiety and the contract here, that um, your love interest is currently in a state of uh, contemplation regarding the official aspects of the relationship. Maybe they're, they are someone that usually uh, they don't settle down here is what I'm getting. And maybe some of you put pressure on this person that, hey, uh, what are we doing? Where is this the connection going? Um, are we settled down? I am, am I going to be official? Official with you here or not and maybe this puts some kind of pressure on this person that's why they're feeling this anxiety um, and the worries here um, and you have the contract here <laughs> maybe someone who wants to make it official with the contract and the other one is like oh, I don't know I'm not that type of settling down um, so this could be causing this relationship stress and concern or to this person here. Uh, they could be feeling the weight of what it means to commit or to take relationship to the next level and are possible worried about the implications here. Um, I feel like there is a need to address these uh, concerns uh, in order to help uh, this person elevate the anxiety that they're feeling and to bring this clarity. Uh, with the ace of spades um, to the commitment or direction the relationship is taking here is what I'm getting but um, yeah let's see what the monology oracle cards provide here insights regarding the lunar energy that are influencing here your love situation for pile number two how the lunar energies are influencing this love situation here the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn so some of you you might be dealing with a capricorn here and you have at the bottom of the deck it's time to release negativity full moon in scorpio so some of you you might be dealing with a scorpio here or maybe you guys are one i'm getting that uh your person here, uh, it's on the full moon, both of them, they're the full moon here. Um, they will release something in the new full moon here, on the full moon. Or maybe your relationship is going to some sort of transformation here, on the full moon. Uh, so you have new romantic cycle begins, what, yeah, in the contract, the Libra, the scales are finally balancing out between you and this person. But uh, what I'm getting here, I'm getting that your love interest here uh, and the relationship, um, I feel like it's going to come out of this challenging period here. The Capricorn energy is about resilience, hard work, the rewards that comes to it. So with it, sorry. It implies that both of you uh, have been enduring these difficulties, you've been working through your issues, you are nearing the point where the hard work, uh, hard work is uh, paying off here. It's an encouragement for you guys that uh, perseverance will lead to a more stable and more secure face in the relationship here between you and this person. Or as I said, uh, the relationship or the energies between you and this person are finally balancing out. And uh, it's time to release negativity. I'm getting that. Yeah, um, this person is going through this intense emotional um, um, transformative energy here. I feel like they're uh, going to let go of these uh, negative feelings, deep-seated fears, or any emotional baggage that uh, uh, might have been hindering the progress between you and them. I feel like your guys are releasing whatever was in the past and uh, starting a new, a new here. But you have communication is the key, so, and I'm getting you know, for some of you might be a Gemini, as I was saying with uh, the Ace of Spades at the beginning. Um, they want to come clean uh, with this honest energy, um, 
sense of communication, honest communication towards you here. So I'm seeing this transformative energy coming your way from this person. At the moment, they are just releasing this negative energy. I feel like um, this uh, love interest of yours, pile too, um, they might go through this internal process of healing, forgiveness, deep emotional cleanse that will benefit the relationship growth and emotional depth here. Again, we have that nurturing energy kind of here. Um, so yeah, I feel like your uh, love situation, it's at the moment pile two in this uh, pivotal moment where the hard lessons are about to give away uh, to a more stable footing and where this emotional purging will lead to renewal here for you. I feel like maybe both of you here needs to let go of the past and to embrace the lessons learned to move forward with great understanding and a stronger bond here is what I'm getting. Anyway, let's see your person desires and um, intentions here. This card will focus on what your love interest desires from the relationship with you, their intentions moving forward. It could reveal hopes, dreams, plans related to you here, pile two. Oh, forgiveness. I forgive myself. I'm forgive. Oh my god. <laughs> this person, pile two, they want your forgiveness here. And then, as I said, they need to purge and cleanse and uh, heal themselves as well. Not they need your forgiveness, but they need their forgiveness as well. Uh, this is beautiful. We get that um, they they just want to balance here the things out, have a new fresh start with you here. At the bottom of the deck, you have the connection card here. For some of you, this person could be age of 20, doesn't have to. Um, this, this is so, so sweet. I love the connection card here and the forgiveness one with the angels. I feel like um, this person is being pushed by the universe uh, from their back to heal, to release their negative energy here and come towards this connection with you is what I'm getting piled to. I'm keep looking at that ace of spades here. Uh, I'm getting that your person here piled to they are beating themselves up uh, up on f because of what they've done uh, for uh, mm, kind of ruining uh, this beautiful connection between you and them and their deepest desires here. And intentions is to be forgiven by you, uh, to heal the connection, to have this renewed connection with you here. This uh, forgiveness card here just have this strong, um, tells me that your uh, love of the person or your person of interest here uh, has this strong, strong desire for healing and letting off past hurts. Um, I feel like your love interest might be seeking forgiveness or offering it as a way to clear the uh, slate and start anew with you here as well. I'm getting that they will they will come into your life with some sort of messages on the moment they are just releasing that negative energy for some of you as i said could be on the full moon happening um uh, the next full moon uh, but i feel like their intention here is to release any lingering resentment or misunderstandings that have been obscuring the relationship growth here um they aspire to move past any issues that caused emotional pain with the goal of achieving this harmonious relationship with you And uh, you have here um, the connection card number six. As I was saying, I, uh, there is a letter here, so this tells me that they will contact you <laughs> uh, soon here. Um, their desire is to contact you, actually, to write to you, to just be with you, to invite you out on a uh, romantic date, to have uh, some drinks and celebrate 
uh, to put a smile on your face, uh, to feel you close here. Maybe for some of you, they could actually want to invite you to have this romantic um, picnic on a beach here. But um, there is a clear indication of desire for a deeper emotional connection to share joy, these uh, joyful experiences with you here, my pile too. Your love interest, I feel like, intends to foster a long and um, strong bond between you and them, filled with these moments of happiness and understanding. It's about building a relationship where both of you can be in sync, not just emotionally, but I feel like also in the way you just enjoy life together here. Uh, we also have uh, some musical notes here. Um, this speaks of the celebration here in the card. Uh, they have this hope for harmony and shared pleasures. Um, for some of you, this person might actually write you a song. Or uh, they keep listening um, a song that you guys um, love it together. It was you, uh, you and this person's song. And they keep listening to it and they keep thinking about you. And this makes them very sad because they think that they kind of ruined the relationship between you and them here. But uh, yeah, I feel like um, these this cards here just highlights a future direction that is focused on reconciliation and joyful companionship here. I feel like your love interest uh, pile two seems to be aiming at a relationship with you where these past issues can be resolved through forgiveness and where the bond uh, between you can grow stronger and more vibrant here characterized by the sense of unity and shared happiness. And um, yeah, um, let me go back to my <laughs> first deck here. I want to see the obstacles to overcome here for you and this person. Let's see challenges or obstacles that might be affecting how your love interest feels about you or just impacting uh, the situation here at the moment. So for pile number two, what are the obstacles that they need to overcome here in this connection with the person on their mind? change your focus here and find balance i don't know guys if you've been around to pile number one <laughs> um, the energies are kind of similar so if you couldn't decide between pile one and pile two maybe someone uh, has to hear some messages as well there they're similar not the same but um Again, this change of focus is like um, the message we saw in it's time to release negativity here from the other deck. Um, reinforces the message there that the challenges here that you guys need to overcome is to release any negative thoughts here. Um, there is this um, need for you guys to shift uh, your perspective. There might be an of um, ever emphasis on certain areas that could bring judgment or causing this emotional distress here. Uh, an obstacle may lie in fixating on this negative or what's on what's not working here instead of recognizing and nurturing the positive aspects here of the connection between you and this person. I feel like this shift uh, in focus could help you guys overcome feelings of stagnation, frustration, uh, just forgiving one another and find a balance here in the connection. Just uh, this card implies that uh, finding equilibrium in a challenge, uh, in challenges when it comes to relationships here. This could be an imbalance in a give and take here for some of you, or perhaps conflicting. Um, 
pr uh, priorities uh, that are causing this strain here between you and them. So you need to balance um, your emotions here, your responsibilities uh, in the connection as well, maybe, and the needs of uh, each in individual here with the relationship might be necessary to move forward positively here. Again, um, you have that sense of destiny here with this person, um, with the fine balance, that's the wheel of fortune energy, like, uh, could be that uh, karmic relationship, maybe there are some certain things that this relationship are uh, teaching you here, both of you to release negativity, to forgive yourselves and just heal um but yeah these cards just speak of that uh, um what's called uh, recalibration uh, re of attention and energy in the relationship here the focus i feel like it should be um on this uh, full spectrum of the relationship not just on the problem areas i feel like you guys are just thinking about the negative th things that happened in a relationship but not on the positives here uh so yeah you need to address these challenges maybe to in order to help you elevate the tension and to forest this more rounded and satisfying connection with this person is what i'm getting um and uh Let's see the future outcome, uh, what's the future of this connection with this person for you here, my pile number two. Dating. <laughs> Love it, number eight. So, as I was uh, saying, where, where we saw it, oh, I think it was, um, it was still in this deck and creativity uh, was on this deck. I don't, the connection card when I told you that this person wants to date you, that's in their desire. Well, uh, the future of this connection, it will lead to a new beginning here to in love. A new romantic cycle begins. So, this is beautiful for you. I love it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, this person will uh, wanna if even if at the moment they feel like only time will tell where this connection will lead, or maybe that's your energy as well. Uh, I feel like uh, yeah, they will balance the things out here. They they want your forgiveness, and I feel like they will come clear um, in with this clear communication here towards you, let you know how they feel because they they love you. They want to have this genuine connection with you here. And um, they will ask for your forgiveness. We'll invite you out on dates here. Um, they are so sweet. There is this sweet energy that this person has. For some of you, will actually offer you flowers, spoil you. Um, just uh, give you compliments. Let you know how beautiful you are. How amazing you are. How can they cannot live without you how um, sad and lonely they've been here <laughs> without you in their life so yeah uh, and uh, let's grab some initials for those that are in need uh, confirmation uh, that this is the reading with the initials so some initials here for pile number two okay you have here a, E, Z, P, e, and B. So, yeah, this was your reading, my pile number two. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comments down below or just like the video. It doesn't cost you nothing and you can just support this uh, channel to grow. And uh, if you want to see more of these kind of videos, check my other videos. And... Uh, Consider subscribing, it doesn't cost you anything, and I'll be very grateful to you here. Take care, guys. Bye. Then my pile number three. If you guys been drawn to the Ace of uh, Hearts here uh, from Pinocchio Collection Deck, these cards speak of this uh, 
or indicates to a fresh emotional beginning and the potential for new love if you guys are single and you're asking about the crash here or the rebirth of a love here for some of you we have this uh, image depicting this craftsman um, at work here the creation uh, this um, speaks of uh, creation and effort into putting something meaningful just like Geppetto Pinocchio's creator that put uh, thought and care into making Pinocchio here regarding how they are uh, currently or how they are feeling about you right now this tells me that uh, your love interest might be thinking about nurturing and investing this emotional uh, energy into the relationship with you. They could be ready to open their heart, showing affection and potentially wanting to, uh, uh, to take things to a deeper level. We, for some of you, there is this sense of care uh, and intent here. This person might be in the process of carefully considering their feelings uh, with the aim of crafting something authentic and heartfelt is what I'm getting here. Usually aces uh, symbolize hope, uh, emotional openness, uh, the ace of her heart and the, the joy of falling in love or deepening an existing love here. So this tells me that uh, your love interest has the genuine and warm feelings towards you. At this time, I pile number three and might be ready for this heartfelt connection with you. But let's see what the tarot has to say here for you. Um, let's check. Uh, this person, uh, current feelings here towards you. Uh, this card will represent your love interest, most immediate feelings towards you, my pile number three. It's going to offer a snapshot in their emotional state and feelings about the relationship at the moment uh, from lover's oracle here so for my pile number three what's their current feelings towards you here and you have deep in uh, your heart you already know the answer to what feels right if you guys been checking uh, my other video uh, i think it was uh, posted before with this one in one of the piles i feel like this card was uh, the choosing uh, card as well so maybe this is a continuation of the messages for some of you and wow sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred <gasps> Oh, this is so beautiful here. I love it. You also have here at the bottom of the deck, soulmate. Uh, your, uh, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So I'm getting that some of you might be single here, guys. And... Uh, You're about to uh, be united and have this union with your soulmate. If this is someone that you're having a crash on, um, this is uh, your uh, person or um, your ex here. I feel like regardless of the status you guys are uh, or the type of connection you guys are in now with this person tells me that uh, this connection is uh, something uh, divine something that it's uh, on a soul level here for you um, something that's very powerful very deep um, I feel like uh, with uh, this card here uh, this is in these cards just indicate to these profound sentiments in this person current feelings uh, towards you here I feel like um, this card especially just uh, speaks of this deep intuitive connection and uh, with the truth of their feelings towards you I feel like this person on a deep level they understand the significance on uh, of what's between you and them and uh, they are considering taking steps that align with their inner truth here. I feel like uh, they will follow their heart here regarding their emotions towards you here. And um, with this uh, sacred union um, 
this speaks of that deep respect and uh, reverence uh, your love interest has uh, for the relationship here and for you. They view as a sh um, something extraordinary here and um, invaluable for them. And they feel like it uh, deserves to be cherished here. It tells me that they see the bond as unique and profound. as um, And they might be feeling um, a sense of commitment to its growth and uh, perseveration here. You're about to be united with this person or just to deepen the uh, connection here. Uh, but these messages here just reveal this um, um, that your love uh, interest just perceive the relationship as meaningful and possible. They see it as being a very spiritual connection here, especially with a soulmate. They might be being you and they might be feeling that you're uh, their soulmate here. Uh, so, I feel like uh, they are trusting their heart and uh, at the moment when it comes to their feelings towards you for sure. Anyway, let's move on and see uh, the heart of the matter here. This card will delve uh, deeper. They will uncover the underlying emotions or issues that influencing your love feelings uh, here. Your, let's see, for pile number three. What's the matter, um, the heart of the matter here? Listen, again, we have that intuition, the high priestess energy uh, that uh, this person is feeling towards you. Um, there could be... Um, that this person never yet revealed how they truly feel about you is what I'm getting here. And you also have the balance here card. The yin and yang, the masculine and the feminine coming into union here. Um, but uh, yeah, as I said, for some of you, maybe this person never revealed how... Uh, they truly feel about you, but they feel this in connection on a very intuitive level. Um, they're feeling it with every sensation, every um, muscle in their body, with every bone, with everything. They're feeling this connection here. And I feel like you guys are able to communicate with one another on this deeper level here like you guys can truly hear each other's uh, needs and desires i'm getting um maybe this person um for some of you maybe they're the one that are seeking a deeper understanding um and they're trying to listen here to you more to your needs uh, or uh, to just listen to you now on a profound level here. Um, maybe, uh, I don't know, you guys could have maybe this, um, some underlying issue here for some of you where uh, they feel the need to be heard and understood. Um, this could be that you and this person are just understanding each other through these non-verbal signals. You guys feel just emotionally, you listen to each other emotionally to the body language. Or uh, for others of you, this could be some things left unsaid, as I said, uh, for some of you here with this card but i'm getting that this person is following their intuition especially with deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right with the listen they're just following their intuition they're just going for this connection here is what i'm getting um with the balance here, um, this uh, need for balance, I feel like it's significant and reflects the necessity of the har uh, harmony between give and take in the relationship between you and this person here. I feel like uh, your love interest might be 
uh, striving for or desiring a relationship where this um, uh, they are emotionally invested and uh, the responsibilities and the support are like uh, evenly distributed between the partners here. Um, if there are any balances between you and this person, could be that uh, it's my causing this person a bit of stress or uh, uncertainty for them here with uh, the balance card as well. But again, uh, for majority of you, I'm getting that this is your other half. This is uh, the person you're meant to be with. Um, could be a twin flame, uh, as we saw the at the bottom of the deck uh, from the lover's oracle this could be uh, your soulmate i feel like you're meant to be with this person for a long time to just maybe create a family together uh, your souls just decided in this world we are going to meet and we are going to do something amazing together here uh, we are going to take off from where we were left in the previous lifetimes and uh, continue our uh, love story on this uh, in this lifetime as well i feel uh, but yeah let's uh, dive in uh, into the reading so yeah let's uh, check this person energetic uh, influences here uh, this card will identify the current energy that's surrounding your uh, love interest here this speaks uh, of these ex internal factors or maybe external energies that are shaping this person's feelings or per perspectives towards you here at the moment. So for pile number three, what's your person here? Uh, energetic influences for pile three. Interesting. Um, we have number six. And number 21, um, strategy here, and contract. Uh, this person could be age of 21 or 27. For others of you, this could be age of 50 here. You also have angel of strength here. Uh, with the contract, I'm getting that you guys have this soul contract for sure. <laughs> With this person, that's just another confirmation message. With the strategy, I feel like this person is um, trying to find a way, analyzing the situation between you and them, trying to find the best approach, how to come towards you with their, uh, with their feelings, with uh, their intuition to let you know that, hey, I, 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 this connection, maybe we, with the contract, let's... Just take it to the next level here. Just let's elevate this connection here. Let's take it to the next level. Let's get commitment. Let's get married. Sign a contract. Maybe this is your husband. You're already having a contract with them. Uh, as I said, could be a soul contract. Uh, this person might keep a journal, write about you a lot. Maybe they're writing poetry. Um, and with the angel of strength. Uh, I feel like they're f trying to find the courage to come clear with their feelings towards you here. But yeah, I'm getting with the contract card here that uh, this person uh, is thinking about commitment. Uh, they want to have this agreement here maybe or you guys have some sort of agreement between one another that is now playing the significant role in your uh, uh, this person in uh, energy here. Uh, they might be thinking about the terms of your relationship, possible considering uh, to be more uh, formal, oh, sorry, uh, more formally um, commitment here to you. Uh, or maybe there are some sort of contracts between you and this person. As I said, maybe you're already uh, married to this person here or you're about to get married with them. Um, or maybe they just uh, trying to balance uh, the energy between you and them. If uh, in the past they took advantage or they haven't treated you right here. Um, I feel like they want to do the things right this time. You might be dealing with a Libra here. Um, I'm also getting that, uh, uh, 
could be that you help this person uh, to sign a contract or they will help you to sign some sort of a contract here maybe this person could be for some of you your business partner here that they have feelings for you and there are some sort of agreement between one another here i don't know um but also with this strategy uh, i feel like your uh, love uh, interest is likely taking this measured approach to the relationship here they, they are carefully planning their next steps or maybe they're even contemplating the best way to navigate the connection and they're listening to the intuition to do so um, this card just speaks of that mindful and perhaps calculated approach to matters of the heart uh, tells me that this person might be acting maybe um, they don't want to act actually sorry impulsive for here towards you or towards this connection and uh, as i was saying with um, angel of strength here this uh, represents courage resilience in the face of challenges so this uh, might mean that your love interest is finding the inner strength to just deal with issues at hand at the moment maybe for some of you maybe they're going through a divorce i don't know with the contract there um, there are some papers that they need to sign uh, maybe for others of you uh, this could be that they might be working in the law enforcement here maybe they are a judge uh, or someone that passes the law maybe they are a lawyer as well I don't know for some of you there um I feel like this uh, person here, uh, they might call up on their personal power to overcome obstacles maybe in the relationship with you as well. Um, maybe they, they've been going through some uh, hardship with the contract and strategy here. Maybe they had to deal with the law here and uh, then they are now finding uh, the courage to just heal and uh, you just open this door for this person towards the happiness is what i'm getting but yeah i feel like um, your love interest here my pile number three is not taking this uh, relationship lightly for sure um, they're likely considering their commitment uh, towards you here seriously with these cards and uh, I feel like they're planning their approach with care towards you and harnesses their inner strength to ensure that the relationship stability um, it's uh, favorable that it's built on this strong foundation and that uh, the connection here between you and them is growing I don't know this person wants to be fair here with uh, the contract and the scales uh, let's see how the moon's energy it's uh, affecting or influencing your person here so you have here prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus so for some of you you might be dealing with the taurus here or maybe you guys are one doesn't have to be and you also have new moon in uh sagittarius luck is on your side mm. again twice two moon uh, new moon sorry so on a new moon um maybe this that's when this person is going to wow <laughs> another new moon meditate and contemplate pisces so for some of you this could be uh pisces uh pisces or you guys are but uh, with these cards here with the new moon here i'm getting that on the new moon i feel like this person uh, might uh, come towards you here with all this new moon new moon new moon um I feel like on this new moon here, um, some changes are about to happen for you guys here. Um, 
I'm getting that the energy around your relationship it's just going to reap the positive changes on the new moon here um, I'm getting that uh, with this um, prosperity lies ahead um, there is um, this period of growth uh, in the connection with this person here abundance that's approaching your relationship or uh, the connection here so this could be it in the material or the emotional prosperity it's on the horizon uh, for you guys here also i'm getting with luck is on your side here that um uh, i feel like mm, this fortunate time it's uh, approaching you guys here taking a risk or making bold moves from this person i'm seeing here will uh, just um, uh, make you feel like uh, like it's on your side here pile three this tells me that um, the universe energies i feel like they are just favoring the positive outcomes uh, in your uh, connection here or maybe when uh, this person will come and rebuild their feelings for you here if you're asking about the crush um you'll feel like like is on your side because you feel this connection so deeply and so they do as well and also with this meditate and contemplate i feel like this person might be someone that likes to meditate maybe they're contemplating on their feelings towards you here as well uh, i feel like this person might be going through this period of introspection and that again speaks of that intuition here another confirmation message that they're just trying to follow their intuition here when it comes to this connection and uh, let's see here for you my pile number um, three uh, what are uh, this person desires and um, intentions towards this connection here for pile three and the person what are this person desires and intentions towards this connection two to two on the clock oh my god what's this commitment and we have the songs oh my god number four speaks of stability so this person wants commitment uh, from this connection maybe you guys been manifesting this connection or they are manifesting you in their life here they might be age of 22 for some of you it doesn't have to be for others of you age of 26 but uh yeah if you guys been <laughs> wanting, maybe uh, hoping that uh, a connection like this will come into your life here, you've been contemplating, maybe you've been the one meditating and contemplating, uh, trust your, uh, yeah, the Divine Masculine here, look at it, underneath that you have connection, wow, this is meant for you here, pile number three this person it's coming into your life your other half here for sure you're meant to be with this person they're the one is what i'm getting both of you maybe manifested this into your life here but um, this could be a twin flame connection i'm getting that if you've been praying hoping wishing for this connection to come into your life well your wishes are coming through with this card this uh, speaks of love here and yeah this person has deep deep feelings towards you or if this is someone new here into your life uh, this relationship is going to lead to this uh, commitment here you have this soul contract with this person here you're meant to be with them i feel like they're the one for you my pile number three this is that pure loving connection hmm. and that connection that uh, just makes you daydream i feel like this person might be daydreaming about you or maybe you're daydreaming about them but uh, I i'm getting that pile three you're just as I said, your luck is on the luck is on your side. <laughs> it 
it's happening. For others of you, if you're already in a relationship with commitment, they're ready to offer it to you. They're ready to take this combination to deeper levels, to next levels, to just take you to sign the contract here. <laughs> to have that wedding with you. You, you just manifested your other half into your life here. Okay. Oh, sorry here. Oh, oh my god. I just want to take my other deck. Sorry for that, guys. I just want to see uh, the obstacles that you guys need to overcome here in this connection or with this person. Uh, we'll see uh, the challenges, obstacles that might be affecting how your love interest feels about you or impacting the relationship progress at the moment. So, what are the obstacles that needs to be overcome here? Too many of them, like, well, we have five, six cars, too many. <laughs> so, for pile three, what are the obstacles that need to be overcome here? Giving and receiving. This is beautiful. So the obstacles here that both of you need to uh, find the balance here in the connection. To just um, put both of you the effort here. I'm getting especially the dedicated effort here to put the effort into this connection. Like uh, spread the um, responsibilities in the connection equally here. You both need to give and receive from one another. You both need to be open to this connection. Don't be afraid of it. I know maybe it's going to feel super strong. Maybe this is what scares you or what scares this person here. And they uh, have the, um, or you have the ten tendency to just uh, uh, pull away from this connection. I feel like this is, these are the, um, obstacles you guys need to overcome in this connection here you need to both put the effort here equally in this connection here in order for this connection to blossom because it has so much potential for you guys here this connection like you, you'll have this balanced harmonious um, connection here loving connection if you just learn how to listen to each other here is what I'm getting and um, let's see the future of this connection here for you guys oh sorry so for pile number three what's the future of this connection the outcome card you might have met this person at work or maybe you're already working with this person or you'll be meeting them at work in a work environment on a project Worth, uh, worthiness so I feel like you guys are <laughs> going to mirror each other here this is what I'm getting you'll both feel um, worthy of this connection of one another it will bring that uh, healing energy i'm getting here in this connection um the this connection will make both of you realize that you guys are worthy of having this amazing connection into your life i feel like some of you um you might have gave up on your hope of um, meeting someone that just um, mirrors you balance you so well uh feeling so amazing uh, you know it usually happens once in a blue moon to find that perfect person for you and i feel like this is what's happening for you here my pile three this person is going to make you feel worthy um 
they see your worthiness here as well um, they might be age of 35 or you might be um, and you also have this sexual freedom I feel like you guys will have an amazing time in bed here you guys are very compatible I feel like you'll just let go of uh, any inhibitions here with this sexual freedom you won't be afraid to explore one another emotionally physically any possible way here and with the silver waterfall yeah this person uh, will make you feel free uh, will make you um, feel seen is what i'm getting it will lead to this amazing connection between you and them for others of you it could be 30 or 32 here or they could be it doesn't have to be but again we have this union card here yeah, purity the lotus that's again that purity uh, of the souls here you'll you won't be you'll feel like you can free to be yourself here you won't be afraid to be to, and show your true self here to this person is what i'm getting my pile three um yeah let's grab some initials for those that need uh some initials to know that this is a reading <laughs> okay for pile three give me some initials okay so you have here n u a they could be from na for some of you north america europe here for others of you is what i'm getting uh, and S doesn't have to be, but yeah. Um, also, I see here Seoul for others of you. Um, yeah, guys, this is uh, was your reading. That was your reading. Uh, I hope uh, this resonated with you guys. If it did, let me know in the comments down below if you wanna share. Uh, this with me if you like the reading consider giving a like doesn't cost you anything and we'll support this channel a lot and i'll be very appreciative of you if you want to see more videos like this one check my other videos and of course consider subscribing if you haven't done so so you guys keep uh, being notified when i post my other videos thank you so much guys wish your uh, dreams are coming through here wish you'll meet this amazing person soon uh, if you haven't already and um, i wish you the best until next time take care